that training is not actually achieving the, the aim of reducing uh, misconduct in, in, in any type of way. Revamping sexual misconduct training and the military's complaint system. It is not efficient. It's very complex. Two of Lieutenant General Jenny Carignol's goals. The woman who formerly led the NATO mission in Iraq now has more details about her new mission on home soil, revamping military culture. As we speak now, I am taking people away from uh, various other organizations so that they can start this very important work. Carignol hopes to issue new guidance on inclusive behavior for leadership within weeks and have a mandate in place by the end of this month. This is a serious moment for the Canadian Armed Forces, for the military police and for the military justice system. Trust needs to be rebuilt. The head of military police also testified they're working to support victims better as well as revamp training. Critics say a big problem is a lack of independence. The brigadier general insisted military police work independently from the chain of command, but acknowledged an issue of perception. That can be problematic for as a barrier of reporting to the military police. Leah West testified about her own military sexual assault experience and believes Carignol's appointment marks a positive change. The senior leadership has accepted the issue as a legitimate issue and is putting forward real steps to make change in a way that I do not believe was the case even three months ago. Karen Yule said she'll work closely with Louise Arbor and implement any of Arbor's recommendations along the way rather than wait on a final report. And as for the six-year-old Deschamps report on the same issue, amid much criticism over a lack of implementation, Karen Yule vowed to move forward on those recommendations as well. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.